We tried a new piece of food today. So, we've been enjoying the Vivera kebab style meat things. Uh, not actually meat, you know what I mean. Vegan, vegan kebab stuff. And they do two different varieties of that. They do the Greek style kebab and the shawarma. And the shawarma has been our favourite of the two, but the Greek one is really good as well. Anyway, it turns out Aldi have started producing their own uh, not uh, plant, plant-based plant kebab stuff. Um, I have taken to referring to um, plant-based meat substitutes as the name of the meat, but with a pl on the start, just so you're aware. So if you ever hear me referring to things like plakin, or plicking, or, or pluck, or plebab, then... That's why. So it's it's just a quick way of saying it. So the plebab. <laughs> I don't know how much, how long I, I don't know if I can keep up with that. Anyway, the kebab was surprisingly different from the Vivera stuff. I was expecting it to be pretty much identical in terms of presentation, but it was quite a bit different. Um, the the meat was chunkier. So it was like larger chunks of stuff rather than, um, well, smaller chunks. The Vivera stuff is kind of shredded up a bit, whereas this was more like, you know, it was just like bits of flesh. <laughs> I don't know how else to describe it. Um, so it was bigger. It was it was more um, chewier, more bite to it. Uh, so and the flavour was a bit different as well. It smelled just like a an, like an onion bhaji, which was surprising. And the taste was it was a bit. I think it was meant to be a bit chickeny, um, but it was like a spicy, like a bhaji sort of flavour. Um, not quite as strong as it smelled, but it still had a sort of kick to it. Really, really nice though. I don't think it, uh, for me, it wasn't better than the Vivera stuff, but it was very different and I would very happily have it again. The frustrating thing is, the <laughs> the package that you get comes with three servings and that makes no sense. I, like, why, why would you not do an even number? That makes, surely that makes more sense. Everything else is done in even numbers. Um, and this is three servings, and I've come across something else from Aldi that's been three servings as well. I can't remember what it is off the top of my head, but yeah, very strange. But I would uh, otherwise recommend. I think it's just called vegan style pieces or something. Uh, vegan style pieces, kebab style pieces, or something like that. So if you have an Aldi nearby, then I would recommend checking it out if you're interested. What we tend to do with our kebab is red pepper or orange pepper or yellow pepper not green if we can help it but if it's all that we've got in then it'll do the job just the sweeter pepper tends to work a bit better um a bit of mushroom in fact a lot of mushroom you want a good solid amount of mushroom a bit of red onion and some feta as well so it's half a packet of feta, essentially, and that'll do for two people. A bit of lettuce in your pita or flatbread or whatever you're using. And we also do... There's a there's a name for the sauce. It's a Greek garlic sauce. And I can't... Again, can't remember what it's called off the top of my head. But um, essentially mayo, yoghurt, and a whole heap of garlic... I think this time we used sour cream instead of yogurt, and that worked really well too. Uh, so that's that's perhaps not a traditional kebab, but it works really well for us, and it's a very, very tasty meal. Anyway, that's all for today, so thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you all tomorrow.